It's the fastest growing town in Niagara County, but the red ink is rising as well in Wheatfield. News 4's Milas Hairston is live from a stormy town hall meeting tonight. Milas. Some employees will go from full time to part time. Those who leave won't be replaced, but tonight it was the talk about the possibility of a new tax that attracted a big crowd at town hall. It's standing room only Monday night. Town of Wheatfield leaders were looking to adopt a budget of roughly $11 million. However, there was just one problem. We're coming into this budget year with some $663,000 worth of deficit. The money problems have been linked to the previous administration and town board. One way to close the gap, the possibility of a town tax. I'm asking you, please, to reconsider and not to implement a general fund tax. We can't afford it. We don't want it. And that's the reason taxpayers showed up for this budget meeting. Supervisor Robert Cliff. We have to be responsive, but we also have to be responsible. And we're trying to do both. One taxpayer who says she's a certified public accountant says the deficit will likely balloon in years to come because of health insurance benefits for retirees. You have to understand what we are griping about here right now tonight is going to explode with the it increases anticipated and felt over the past 10 years in health care insurance increases. This number is going to bankrupt this town. I would think the employees could do without a pay raise just as a gesture so that the 5,600 homes that are in this community and all the people that live in them don't have to look at those people and say, we're raising our taxes and you're going to take home 10 bucks a week. And that taxpayer talking about a proposed 3% pay raise for employees. Bottom line, when all was said and done, the town board said no to a new tax. The town board expects an additional $300,000 in sales tax revenue. That's one of the reasons why, but Supervisor Robert Cliff says at this time next year, the town will face another deficit, probably in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Reporting live, Miles Hairston for the 10 o'clock news.